One of the new features of environmentaltrends.org will be regular video book reviews, looking both at current books and also older and sometimes neglected articles. We'll also highlight current journal articles of note that may not get the attention they deserve. And our first book in this series will be Roger Pielke Jr.'s The Climate Fix, What Scientists and Politicians Won't Tell You About Global Warming, out not long ago from Basic Books. Pielke is a professor of environmental studies at the University of Colorado and runs one of the best climate science and policy blogs around. Like Bjorn Lomborg, Pielke fully accepts the core claim of the climate campaign that the planet faces potentially catastrophic warming several decades from now. But like Lomborg, the climate campaigners hate Pielke and routinely include him in their ritual denunciations of climate deniers. Just what did Pielke do to end up on the list of climate criminals? Simple, he's done the math. The mathematics of the chief pillar of climate orthodoxy, suppression of fossil fuels, reveals one inconvenient truth after another. The policy target of climate orthodoxy, an 80% reduction in carbon dioxide emissions by the year 2050, would require reducing U.S. fossil fuel use to a level last seen more than 100 years ago. As Pielke quantifies with example after example, this rate and time scale of decarbonization is simply fantastic and requires what he calls magical thinking to maintain with a straight face. Pielke is brutal in confronting the implications of the adverse math. Quote, Some very important aspects of such conventional wisdom are, to be absolutely direct, just plain wrong, close quote. While the title of the book, The Climate Fix, sounds like yet another exercise in magical thinking, Pielke unloads one heresy after another. By conceiving the issue as a morality play, the climate campaign has done great damage to science and policy making alike. The climate science community crossed the line from discovery to advocacy, and as the ClimateGate email scandal showed, corrupted the scientific process. Cap and trade sounds great, Pielke writes. The problem is that it cannot work. Markets cannot make the impossible possible. These are just a few of Pielke's refreshing departures from the dreary climate orthodoxy that has stifled original thinking for the better part of the last 20 years. Pielke's central point is what he calls the iron law of climate policy. Quote, when the trade-off is emissions reduction versus economic growth, the economy wins every time, close quote. Will the climate campaign, chastened by the collapse of cap and trade, be willing to entertain Pielke's heterodoxy? The answer will depend on whether the climate campaigners are as committed to reason as they claim to be. Count me as skeptical, but the climate fix deserved to take its place among the preeminent treatises of this endlessly vexing issue.